Let me just first uh, say hello. Thank you so much for joining everybody. Uh, my name is Alex Raymond, for those of you who I don't already know, and I run the Conscious Entrepreneur Summit in Boulder. What we're going to do today is uh, chat with Christina Poindexter. We're going to talk about a new idea that we are putting together, a new thing that we're bringing to life in support of the Conscious Entrepreneur community, and that's to create a women's leadership forum, so a grouping a group of uh, women entrepreneurs to connect and to learn together and to grow together. And this is something that uh, is really uh, Christina's brainchild. She came to me with this idea and I loved it. And I said, yes, let's go do this. Let's go try something like this out. Why? Well, the reason is because we've now run the Conscious Entrepreneur Summit for three years. And one of the consistent pieces of feedback that we always get is how do we stay connected in between the events. So there's like a big event here. And then as some, many of you know, we do these smaller events on, on occasion, but how do we, how do we really build the connective tissue uh, in this group over time to allow us to connect with one another, to build deeper relationships, to build real friendships type of thing. And so um, I've always had this idea of like, yeah, I really, I really should do something like this and never had the energy or the time. So when Christina came and said, here's an idea and here's something I want to implement, I was like, great, awesome. Let's uh, let's do that. So um, that's really what we want to talk a little bit about today, sort of share the idea, share the vision, um, give you an opportunity to get a sense for what this might look like, uh, and then also see for yourselves, is this something that could be a part of your future? So with that, um, you know, really excited that you're all here. Thanks for joining. Christina and I are going to sort of go back and forth and chat for maybe 15, 20 minutes. We invite your questions either live or in the chat. So go ahead and uh, and, and interrupt us, but uh, really glad that you're all here. Christina, let's hear a little bit from you about uh, what you have in mind and your inspiration. Absolutely. Um, thank you, Alex, for kicking us off here. And also thank you to all of you for taking time out of your Mondays to come live um, I know we all have uh, all sorts of priorities in our life and busy schedules, and um, I uh, very much appreciate your presence here on video, off video, uh, and even the ones listening in after. Um, so I'm Christina, if we have not met before, and I know I sent out um, a bunch of notes to those of you who signed up in advance, um, and I've received your emails in, in response, although I have not had a chance to respond just yet, but thank you to those of you who wrote back. Um, so I'll share a little bit about myself um, and then allow that kind of story to lead into um, the inspiration for this um, you know, forum format um, and just a, an overview of what it is that, that we'll be doing together. Um, as Alex mentioned, if you have any questions at any point, please just drop them in the chat. Um, that is very, very open for you. Um, so I'm a three-time founder myself um, and have a background um, across uh, the tech space and the wellness startup space. Um, and I also have a really deep personal practice and set of modalities in the wellness world. 20-year um, yoga practice, used to teach yoga. There's all sorts of stuff in that vein, um, which historically had been kind of, you know, the backstage and the front stage was the work stuff. And now they're very much coming together in what I do. Um, so today I run a business that's entirely dedicated to venture coaching for women who are in the process of creation is what I call it, right? Um, as we are starting, building, managing companies, um, that is a creative process that often comes with um, a very transformative personal journey um, during, during that time. And at least that has been my experience um, that very much weaves together aspects of, you know, you know, hardcore business stuff, right? Tactical, strategic, managerial um, aspects, but also really complex underlying, you know, emotional, relational, personal life um, issues. And we as women are kind of out there on the front lines having to figure out how to weave it all together in our own original style, like oftentimes without the ability to speak to the challenges of doing that weaving. And so um, that that has been my experience, and I'm very open about that. And I have been very open about that um, with both my startup journeys um, so far. But um, just to give you a little bit of a sense on the kind of business side, um, you know, I, I I started two venture backed companies. This is now my third. Um, I've raised venture capital for both. The first one was an empathetic computing company. It was in the AI space. 
Um, and the second was a brain health nutrition company. So um, supplements, nutrition, and CPG. Um, I've raised a few millions in venture capital over three different rounds. Um, and I've also gone through a number of different like traditional support structures um, for entrepreneurs. So um, I took my first company through the Techstars Accelerator. Um, the Accelerator model is certainly one that um, can lend a lot of support, especially to early stage founders. Um, it often comes with, you know, an, an equity cut it come, and it's a very much a focus on like business, business, business. Um, I've also uh, worked as an entrepreneur in residence for a number of venture capital firms, um, notably M13, which is uh, a VC firm out of LA here. Um, and that's another model that I'm happy to speak to is the venture studio model. Um, and I worked as a fractional founder as well um, for some celebrity brands. Um, and that has been kind of a ghost founder arrangement, uh, you know, one on one that I can't really speak a, a ton to, but um, has certainly influenced, um, you know, the experience that I bring in in building ventures. From now scratch. we're all super Pretty curious good. about yeah. which brands those were. I, I, I know I can't, I shouldn't <laughs> drop the carrot, but um, I share all that just to give you a sense of, of, of my journey. And, um, each of us, you know, have our own experiences that we bring to the table as we start companies. And I am the first to, to tell you, like, I am not above you. I'm not beyond you. Um, you know, I'm not better than you in any sense by sharing these things. Right. Um, I, I very much want to set the stage for that because I think that we all come in with extremely valuable both life experiences and professional experiences. And that's the whole point of having a peer-to-peer -peer forum is that we bring the collectivity of that wisdom together um, and that we're really able to, you know, jump in and say, hey, I actually know how to do that thing. And, oh, I actually don't have experience with that thing. And I'll be the first to tell you where I do and I don't have experience on on the startup journeys. So, um, Christina, that's it's awesome to to hear a little bit more about where you've been and and what you're doing. What attracted you to the forum format? So, there's so many different ways to to engage with people. Have you done these before? Like, what do you really like about this this type of format? Because you're look we're looking at doing this uh, somewhere around up to twelve people, right? So, it's a pretty small, intimate group. Yeah, so you know, candidly, I I've been in women's forums that have a very different focus, that are more kind of relational focus aspects or therapy focus aspects, and then I have been in a lot of professional situations, which are either one-on-one -on -one coaching containers um, or accelerators, venture studios, you know, things that are more focused on like this is business, right? And and my experience is that having that delineation often is actually not in service, right? It's like, oh, personal life is over here and like business stuff is over there. And that is what, what I've had a challenge with and where I now serve a lot of women founders one-on-one -on -one in my coaching containers is the intersection. And that in particular is what I don't see right now across the startup ecosystem is just an acknowledgement that that intersection is the thing that's challenging. And so um, the inspiration for form really comes from, from that there's, you know, forum isn't a new thing. Gathering people together in like a council is not a new thing. Um, and I have, I very much learned the hard way in my entrepreneurial journey that like whoever I have on my favorites in my phone to speed dial when things are hard, like the strength of that list was directly proportional to my success. And it was really those late night conversations for me that I both would like, you know, call people and receive calls from people that like helped get me through and really helped up level, you know, my career. And so that's something that it's kind of invisible right now. And what I really want to do is bring that out of the shadows and, and really legitimize that as a, as a need and hold space really well so that we can do it even better together. Um, there are also forums that exist that are pretty exclusive. Um, so YPO is an example of that. Um, where you have to have a certain amount in revenue already, or you have to have a certain number of employees, which is wonderful. And I think that that allows for a good curation of leaders to come together who have similarities, but it, it's preventative, right? You have to get to that level before you can receive that support. And I just think there's something off with that because early stage can be so hard. And so to even get to that point is like, it's, it's quite a challenge. Um, so yeah, Alex, a great question, but I, that, that would be some points of inspiration just for me in bringing this container together. 
I'm I'm curious just by a show of hands, who else has been in a forum before? Either entrepreneurs or non-entrepreneurs. A handful of you? Okay. Okay. Many. Yeah. And and so the um, you know, the the interesting thing about this was you were like, I want to do this for women founders. And yeah. so it's a very special set, very special set. I'll say one of the great things about Conscious Entrepreneur is we're almost 50-50 in terms of the audience, the speakers, the community, uh, in terms of, of of male and female, which is something you don't see a lot uh, at uh, uh, most startup events. So I feel that we're definitely on the right path there in terms of making sure we've got a good group of people around. Um, but tell us what's, you know, in your mind, what's special about that and, and uh, how do we want to lean into that? I, I don't totally understand the question, Alex. Can you ask it slightly differently? Yeah, like what, like what, so you could have done, you could have said, I just want to do a general forum, right, for for whoever's uh, for out there. Yeah. Instead, you said, I want to do it for women entrepreneurs. Yeah. Well, um, this is coming from, again, from my experience, you know, having done the venture-backed founder journey twice and kind of choosing this third time around to do it differently. Um, my experience is that there's, there's pros and cons to gendering something, right? Um, the reason that for, for me, it was important to actually create um, that delineation is from the work that I've increasingly been doing with the, the leaders that I work with around masculine and feminine energy. And I think there's been a, a dominant model in leadership around what I would consider to be a masculine form of leadership. Um, and so that is something that I very much bring into the work that I do um, and, and speak to because th that's not wrong. <laughs> I want to make that wrong. But I think what it's created is, is that we women often feel like we have to do work in a certain way to be validated, to, to be allowed in certain rooms, to be taken um, seriously. And, to, and it also means that we don't necessarily show some of the challenges that we're facing, right? That might be more on the emotional side, the personal side, the, the lifestyle side. And what my goal is with a lot of, of the women that I work with is I, I want entrepreneurs to be able to build companies that have flourishing lives, right? That it, our lives aren't like the thing that's the short end of the stick, right? It's not the thing that gets crushed. Our personal lives aren't the things that get crushed. And that I believe is, is going to actually result in better companies, you know, stronger management teams, better products and more sustainable companies too, because it helps reduce burnout. And so, you know, that, that's a, just a, a tip of the iceberg in terms of that, that topic. But um, I really want to create a safe space where we can talk about anything, right? And, and that to me doesn't necessarily happen by chance. It happens by curation and it happens by intention and with, with whatever, you know, you all choose to bring to the field. And that's certainly something that um, I don't feel there are enough spaces for because today it's very much like, okay, if you have a personal life challenge, like go talk to your therapist about it or your partner about it or your family and friends about it. Um, but oftentimes those folks don't understand or have the lived experience of navigating the dynamic between both the, you know, the ways that we actually do need to show up in the world that are in the masculine energy version, which is very direct and initiatory and, you know, sometimes like us out on the battlefield. Um, but being able to toggle between those two and those two energies is important. And it's something that I increasingly want all of us to talk about because I'm not, I'm not the expert in that field. We're all figuring that out live. We all have our own styles of navigating that, those dynamics. And I, I really want to invite more conversation there, which is why I think it's been important to create that guardrail for this program. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. Well, so let's get specific here. Walk us through what you have in mind and, uh, yeah. and what forum's going to look like. Yeah, so it will be four months. Uh, we'll gather every other week. Um, on a live call like this, um, which will be about 90 minutes. Um, and it will be very, um, you know, co-creative and participatory, right? Um, the intention is for uh, the group to be early stage women founders and solopreneurs. So I, I expect that there will be um, women that have, you know, already raised capital and are going the venture capital route. I expect there to be 
more of the solo entrepreneur or coaches um, or even kind of in the healer do domain types um, who are very much building businesses kind of alone, um, if that's a number of you. And everyone will kind of bring each week um, what whatever is present um, that spans both personal and professional, right? You'll bring, you know, challenges that you have, wins that you have. And as we go, we'll decide together if, if we're going to theme certain weeks, um, especially if there's common themes that um, are challenging or that, that we're working through together. So that could be around fundraising. It could be around hiring. It could be around some personal life stuff. Um, we'll very much like co-create that as we go. Um, one element that uh, goes beyond the council calls themselves, which I've actually found the most helpful in the containers that I've been, um, is an ongoing um, curated and moderated chat that's kind of constantly there. And so that is something that um, we'll have active and live all the time where um, I have a basically a 24 hour you know commitment to any of you to to return you know advice, thoughts, you know questions, um, resources uh, as things come up. And that will be a group space, right? So anyone can pitch in with, a question and anyone can also pitch in with um, resources, guidance, or a solution. And so that in and of itself, I imagine to be the most helpful because um, I'll say in in my in my founder journey, we don't have a ton of time when we have you know things that we need to figure out. Um, and so I think having that the dynamism of that chat is really going to be a, a, a really good resource for everyone. Um, so the the actual, um, I, I'm refreshing my memory on the actual dates. So November 21st will be our kickoff, um, our kickoff uh, forum. And um, we'll basically have two a month um, up through middle of March. And that's really designed to, you know, during, during like the holiday period there, I've noticed there tends to be kind of like you know, this acceleration of activity and then this really beautiful reflective period and then this acceleration of activity again. And I think in that journey, there's really the chance to um, help each other, you know, um, get things done, but also like re-steer, reorient and start the year off fresh and actually give us enough time to actually see and implement change by the end of, of Q1 of next year. Um, so that's, that's the design of the four month program. And um, gatherings currently are scheduled for 5.30 uh, mountain time on Thursdays. And so that's a 90 to 120 minute um, uh, call just like this. Um, if we find that there, that is, that's a very challenging time for everyone involved, we can, we can look at that again, but we should consider that that's the time um, just because it is a, it's, it's difficult to triage everyone. Um, so yeah, and then there's going to be an option as well um, to meet in person in Colorado. This is very much for those who are in Colorado. I know the conscious entrepreneur community is is um, you know very much strong based there, um, and really for those who want to just go above and beyond and meet people, um, other folks in person. Um, and then there's an option for you. Um, you can either just choose to do forum, um, or you can do forum plus venture coaching. And so that offering is, is basically one for us to work one-on-one -on -one together. Um, and uh, that, that can help if you are working on a very particular thing and you want to see progress on a very particular thing that you know you are stuck with right now. So I often work with um, women founders who are either first-time founders, they are fundraising, they are you know, trying to find product market fit, launch a product um, and get in the market for the first time. Those tend to be my specialties and how I work with women, but I'm very open to other ways. And again, that is, that's a basically an, an additional option for you. And um, one that I've discounted specifically for four members. Um, so if you were, if we were to work together on the side, it would cost you a lot more money, but for four members, I want to make that a lot more accessible because that's been one of my goals in designing this program is to basically bring my support to a lot more women and um, allow us to kind of support each other. So that's the overview. Um, I'm gonna check the chat real quick here. Forum a couple, versus... of, couple of questions on forum yeah. versus mastermind. Mm -hmm. um, do you wanna take that Alex? 
You know, I've never been in a mastermind. I've been in a forum, so I don't know what the real distinctions might be. Um, you know, to me, to me, the forum is, uh, at least the way I've done it before, it's with entrepreneurs and we, we're meeting together on a regular schedule. I don't know what a mastermind actually does that's step any different to you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a part of one that has to do with growth marketing. Um, and my experience of these, um, it's, I have a data point of one, so it's not a rich data set. Um, is that they're very uh, thematic um, and and very focused on like one professional domain um, and one um, specific area. So I think the way that it would differ is while we are curating for you know relevancy in early stage women founders and solopreneurs, like that's our that's our box. Um, you know, I don't I don't see us specifically staying on like okay, this is a fundraising mastermind or this is a um, you know. Uh, hiring mastermind or anything that's like specific in that vein. Um, that's my understanding of kind of a mastermind difference. Forum is like all topics welcome, bring them to the council and we shall support um, in that way. Christy, does that help answer your question? Great. Cool. So one, one thing I, I thought I might do is um, uh, I'm just going to put in the chat the link to the page where we've got all the detail on this. And then I just wanted to walk through um, and actually share my screen and 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 show some of it so we can get to some of the specifics here, just in case people have not been able to see that beforehand. Is that all right, Christina, if I just do that real quick? Okay. Um, so I just I just sent everyone the 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 URL here. Let me just walk through um, kind of what we have and what we have uh, designed, and then we do want to make sure that we've got um, questions and and we're addressing any any feedback of yours. Um, the, the, the main next step is going to be, is going to be to, to apply. And we'll talk about what that, what that looks like here. If you haven't seen, um, the, the page yet, this is everything that Christina was just talking about. And I just wanted to hone in on, um, a couple of things. So first is, uh, the, what the form is going to include. So we're going to be up to 12, uh, entrepreneurs. We're doing nine sessions together. It's going to run over the course of four months. We also then have the asynchronous component. So the uh, it's it's built in a platform called Circle, um, and it's going to look somewhat like somewhat like this. There's going to be a place to come and do stuff together, um, and then we are potentially meeting in Boulder, or you are potentially meeting in Boulder uh, if that's something that people are called to. And there's also, of course, the opportunity to work more closely one on one um, with with Christina. Uh, it'll run from November until March. And the way that we have priced this is if you want to join forum and you want to come to the nine meetings over the course of four months, it's going to be $3,000. So that's about $750 a month. If you want to take advantage of doing some venture coaching with Christina, that's going to be four one-on-one -on -one sessions with her. That would be $4,400 for the four months. So $1,100 a month, no matter which one of these feels right to you, the next step is to apply. That's going to walk you through a series of questions about your goals and where you're at and what you're trying to accomplish and, and what you would like to offer to the group. And that'll be a way for us to see, hey, you know, is this a good, going to be a good fit um, or not? So just wanted to make sure that we're kind of bringing all this stuff together uh, for you guys right here. Christina, anything you want to add on this piece? Yeah. Um, in terms of the application, I'd really encourage any of you, if you are, are feeling called, you know, especially as a result of this call, um, to to submit that application because it's really the next step in us getting to know each other. Um, it does not require payment, you know, as part of that application, but it does help us um, initiate a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And I'm going to be reaching out to those of you who do apply um, so that I can really understand, you know, what are your goals? What are your challenges? What do you want to bring into the group? Um, where are you at in terms of building your business? Um, and that will really allow us um, to make sure that this is a good fit. Um, I am the first to say, you know, if this doesn't feel aligned and if if your intuition is like, mm, there's something off here, like I'm the first to say, listen to that. But also on the flip side, if your intuition is like, yeah, this would really be helpful. Like I should really do this. Like, please lean into that as well. Um, and, and, uh, the application is a great way to actually engage, um, with us directly, um, to actually like complete that process for yourself. 
Um, yeah, so I mean, this is the reason we have a we're 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 calling it optional, right? I would strongly encourage everyone to join, but we're going to have an in-person meetup in Boulder. Um, we haven't set a date for it just yet, um, so I'm not sure when we'll decide that it'll land through the length of the program. We can talk about that as a group, um, but I totally agree with you. I think that there's a magic in, in and also just a trust building that happens when we come together in person, and once that's established, and you, you also get so much more information about a person, right, when you're with them in real life. So um, I imagine that happening kind of on the on the sooner side rather than the later side will be important for us. Um, but I appreciate you naming it, and I, I totally agree with you. So uh, all everything that you're bringing here, you know, the the brags, the challenges, the questions, the doubts, you know, uh, all of it is relevant. And so I just want to um, just thank you for that. Being here and uh, hit me or Christina up with any questions. But uh, really lovely to see everybody here today. And thanks so much, Christina, for putting this together. Absolutely. Thank you, Alex.